Hello, it's Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In my last video, I bashed Shopify Effects for just creating a yet another complication to creating applications cross platform. But I'm going to actually show you the benefits of actually using JavaFX and how fast you can actually start to develop your applications. I'm using Java NetBeans 6 Beta 2 and the JavaFX plugin. Go ahead and name this Dragon Demo. And it's going to go ahead and create my FX project library and give me my main file to start working from. So go ahead and first throws me straight to my file so I can start coding. Now very much like Java, I can actually import my libraries I want to use so I can I don't have to type the actual whole UR whole library path to start developing. So import Java effects.ui.asterisk and all this is doing is saying instead of typing Java effects dot UI dot canvas actually it's not canvas it's dot frame I just have to now type frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and import that as well as import Java ui dot canvas dot asterisk semicolon. So I got my namespace imported. So already this is better than JavaScript because you got name namespace support. Um, and now you can go ahead and start jumping into it. But before we actually start jumping into this, one of the cool things about JavaFX um, plugin is you can actually start to preview the code that you actually write. So any of the UI and events that you start to integrate into your, your script code will show automatically right above here within this white frame. So I'm going to go ahead and first create my frame and give it a title. Drag me demo. And then I'm going to say I want my initial width to be 300 pixels and my initial height to be 300 pixels and now we're going to actually have to fill in our content here but before we fill in our content I want to show you the preview box so now we get our discolored beige color right next to our white which basically means this is our frame window it's a 300 by 300 frame window and as you can see we defined it within our script and it automatically updates in the preview pretty cool so now we go ahead and define our content. We're going to give this um, frame a canvas to start working with. So we're going to use the canvas class. And again, the canvas itself is basically a placeholder to start putting objects in. So we're going to use the content yet again and define a rectangle within our canvas to start developing. And we want to give our rectangle an initial width of 100 pixels and an initial height 100 pixels and we want to fill the rectangle black. So it kind of looks like CSS almost except you don't have to put semicolons after all the stuff here. Kind of cool. So now we got our black box within our frame that's actually right behind a canvas. Um, the canvas cannot be filled but it's just there to start drawing stuff on top of. So as you can see it's already a very powerful tool that Java affects can bring to your developing experience for applications. You get instant um, you know, previews of what you're developing in real time. And this was called a drag me demo. So obviously I'm going to show you how to drag this black box around. As you see now I can't actually drag nothing. It does nothing except sit there and render itself over and over. So right after feel I'm going to say on mouse dragged operation Actually, operation needs to be filled with events because event is passed into the mouse dragged. And now we have our empty draggable thing which still does nothing, so we're going to actually start to drag it here. But we need to be able to access our rectangle uh, class variables, and we can't actually do that unless we assign something to here. So we have to do var self. 
Okay, now that we have our blank function set up, we're going to do our drag. Now, mo mainly when you do something like dragging, you have to calculate the last position with the current position, and then you need to do the minus between those two to find out the disposition of the, the amount of pixels that's traveled across the screen. JavaFX takes care of all that frustration for you. So now you can just do self.x, which is the x position of the rectangle, plus equals event dot local drag translation and then it gives us two options to choose from x or y so we're going to give it the x and now that if we go back to our preview window we can actually drag on the x-axis now now if we put if we want to drag everywhere we simply set the same thing up for the y-axis so we go y plus equals event dot local drag translation dot y and now we actually have a draggable black box within our application now it doesn't go very far on what I've done other than just drag a black box around it's not really an application that you can start to deploy but there's plenty of tools that JavaFX offers you to start this dwelling into uh, event handling and get your application running in no time now if you notice, if when you're while you're developing this JavaFX script, not only do you get to, to your web and browser integration, but you also now get to your mobile integration. So JavaFX, JavaFX script was created to run on desktop, web, and mobile applications. You don't have to change anything. It should run identical, but you might want to change some stuff to get performance boosts. For example, if you're running on your mobile, you're pretty sure you don't want to be have that much graphical intense stuff happening when you're modern, modifying stuff within your UI. And that's basically it. That's all there really is to understanding JavaFX. It's that something you can code in. It's not specifically Java. But you can actually still code in Java and make your own libraries to be used within the JavaFX script language. And then you have the option to run it on desktop, uh, web, and mobile, like I said before. Um, so again, it's not like JavaFX is a bad language, but it's something that Java's already done with the existing technologies, trying to make it easier uh, for anybody who isn't a hardcore programmer to start developing applications. The only problem is that most people who develop applications actually know something about programming. So if you're going to leverage the power of Java, you might kind of want to just use Java itself. The only difference is that JavaFX gives you better tools, like I said, like the whole dragon thing, um, calculating the before and after position, after you've dragged something, JavaFX already handles that for you. It's really, really nice and gives you basic building blocks to develop your application. So again, just keep that in mind when you're doing something. Um, there's also Silverlight, Air, and uh, I guess Prism that you might want to consider looking into. Um, there isn't any specific uh, programming additions to Prism except for Zool, which is XUL, which is used in Roadrunner, which is also used in Firefox plugins. Um, kind of gives you kind of like a user interface uh, language to use. And that's pretty much all I have to say for now.